Hello and welcome back to Coding Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. In the previous video we have introduced the new class called Game, but I think that I haven't explained it as well as I could, so I thought I would begin with explaining it a bit more. So as you recall, we have introduced this Game class to somehow tie together this World class and this Cell class. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you in the IRB real quick. Uh, my reasoning for introducing game class and to tying uh, world and cell classes together is so I can have something like this. So I can call like game.new and somehow pass in this game class a world, a gaming world and a cells which are going to pre-populate that world. Okay, so that is basically the idea. Uh, right now, I do not have uh, constant game. Yeah, because I haven't loaded the file, but whatever. So let's exit from it. Let's clear out this terminal and let us um, continue building on this uh, game class. Uh, we also started on the wrong foot by um, writing the tests for these rules when we should have instead created a context for game and test it separately from the rules okay the rules uh, specs are going to uh, test the interaction of all these of all these classes uh, but since we have introduced a new class a game class we should test it separately so in the context of a game uh, the subject should be a game dot new and it should create create a new game object do and should I'm sorry for the typos okay so now we have it it should create a new game object watch it created it, uh, the subject subject should ne not no is a member of a game class should be true okay so let's run our specs our spec spec game of life rb and we notice that all our examples are passing so this subject is indeed of a class called game and now let's think about how to initialize this new game class as we recall from the IRB uh, a few minutes ago, uh, we have written game new and passed in a world object and cells object. So let us try to, to initialize it with something like that. So let us define the initialize, initialize. and let us have something like world and something like cells but let's call these cells differently so we do not get confused down the road let's call these cells which we pass in when we initialize a game object let's call them seeds it's like we're planting live seeds okay so seeds um, before that let's just write the test so we do not get bad code down the road so it should let me just paste the one from 39 and jump down here it should respond to proper methods and and subject meaning the game object should respond to uh, it should respond to world it should respond to seeds and that is basically it and upon the initialization it should initialize properly so let's copy the line 45 below here it should initialize properly oh sorry I know what happened right there um, here we go we're back here but we're not going to write this test before we make this test on line 60 pass so let us save our file here and let us test only the test under the line 60 
So we see that it is failing. It does not respond to the world method. And let us write the world method. As you may remember by now, we have to write the adder accessor for the world method. And now, now the world doesn't pass. Okay. So why doesn't it pass? Let me examine this a bit. So should oh okay so uh, I made a typo here I made a dot instead of a space here and now it it passes for the world but it doesn't respond to seeds and we um, should add seeds accordingly here now all our tasks should pass and they do great so now it responds to this world and these seeds but uh, this world and these seeds don't mean anything until we make them meaningful, right? So let's write our test for initialization properly. So the test should look like subject should um, no subject world is a world should be true okay with this we make sure that the world which is initialized here is indeed a new world and subject seeds should what should subject seeds be subject seeds uh, should um, be some sort of an array okay the subject seeds is a should be some kind of an array of cells is a array should be true okay so now let's run our specs uh, and they're passing because we're testing line 60 when we test all of them uh, the ones we have just written are failing because subject world is a world isn't true it is false so let us write this initialize method properly. So right now we initialize a world and seeds but let us let us just run our tests when we have uncommon that and they failed because wrong number of arguments and as you recall we solved that by passing in the default value and uh, let's pass in the default value a new world object okay and let us see what that line makes for R. Okay, so it uh, still is wrong number of arguments because we haven't made uh, initialized seeds properly. And now we we have uh, upon initialization of this game class, we create a new world and we create an empty array in which we are going to put some cells later in this initialize method. Let us just test to see if it passes. It doesn't. Why is that? Subject world is a world should be true. That doesn't pass because we do not have an instance variable called world, which is which assigns to it this world object. And now it does, and now the error should complain about these seeds, and it does, and we should correct that mistake by seeds doing seeds equals seeds. Okay, and now all our tasks should be passing as they do. Awesomeness. Okay, so um, that is basically it for now. In the next video, I have no idea what we're going to do, but hopefully now it is more clearer how this game class uh, functions within our game of life. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So see you guys in the next video.